We'll always be bosom buddies, friends, sisters, and pals. We'll always be bosom buddies. If life should reject you, there's me to protect you. If I say that your tongue is vicious, if I call you uncouth, it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy will sit down and tell you the truth? Well, hello, hello. Mirror, mirror in my hands, <laughs> who's the hottest in the land? Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about me again. <laughs> you, should have heard, you should have heard what I said about you earlier. <laughs> oh, is that why my ears were burning? <laughs> Your lucky your wig didn't catch fire. <laughs> Ooh, I thought I saw the plastic starting to smoke. <laughs> I think this heat. <laughs> oh my. This evening, how are you doing tonight? I am terrific. I'm terrific. So why, why don't you tell everyone who we are and what this is all about? Who are we? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, welcome to yet another edition of Naughty or Nice. nice. And I, if you haven't figured it out as of yet, I am the naughty Alexis Flame. And my lovely co-host is the nice Tony Holperm. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, I heard blondes have more fun. It's it's that's supposedly what they say. It's because the brunette taught them how. Okay, I believe it. But uh, I really love this hair. <laughs> it looks great. Remember the monsters? That character that Eddie idolized, Zombo. Yes. I kind of look like him in drag right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. So we have a pretty cool show for you tonight. Uh, we do, we do. First off, I'd like to give a shout out to our naughty or nice alumni, strip, a male stripper extraordinaire, Tim DeTuriaga. Yes. Tomorrow night, his Adonis Live event will be partially broadcast from Kenya. Tim is raising money for LGBTQ um, African refugees. And it's, 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 it's a sad affair. And, it is. It is. And let me tell you, like my son Bryce Adonis, for a straight man, Tim Dutoriaga does a hell of a lot for the gay community. So mm -hmm. yes. we to support him all the way. Tim, thank you so much for all that you do, handsome. And that's <clears throat> and where where is that going to? He's that's going to be streaming on Friday tomorrow. Yes, uh, on his uh, on the Adonis. I'm not sure. I, I, do you have the email open? Um, I'm looking. I guess uh, I printed it, but I can't. See yes, Adonis Adonis live live stream. Um, How do they contact him to be, for the link? Uh, oh, I, I think it's if you, if you go to uh, Adonis Lounge. Uh, it's Adonis Lounge on Facebook. Okay. Adonis Lounge. And I know they're on Twitter also. <laughs> yes, they're. I think they're on everything. They're on uh, they're Facebook, on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all those, all those good things. Okay. All those, all those good things. <laughs> so anyway, I'm moving right along. Well, I'm moving somewhere. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm on my way. I think I'll have a little splash. Yes, a little splash makes everything better. Rarely it does. So, what were we talking the other day about skinny bitches? Skinny bitches, yes. Yes. Who could we possibly... Do you be... know why I really can't stand skinny bitches? Well, Because well, 100 years I mean... ago, I was one of them. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were a very skinny past, bitch. Past tense. I 
one. <laughs> now I wear these ginormous sweater puppies. Uh -huh. Trying to copy Bette Midler's shtick, pretty legs and great big knockers. <laughs> the pretty legs and the great big knockers, they might not notice all the confusion in between. Very, very true. Very true. So speaking of skinny bitches, we have a very special one tonight. Oh, by the way, can you see my eyeliner? Yes. Can you see how luxurious and rich and jet black it is? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's this stuff from some company called Chaotic Cosmetics. Have you ever Chaotic heard of it? Chaotic Cosmetics? I, I think... I think I may have like possibly have have heard heard of them. No, you know, possibly no. I have a palette I, from the side too. I think I think I've heard of them. No, I no. may have I may have one or two of their of their products laying around. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> all, all joking aside. All joking aside. Our guest tonight. Is a dear friend of Tony Tony Holmes. <laughs> Have another sip, Lex. A very, <laughs> a very dear friend of Tony Holmes. Her little sister, I believe, and she also happens to be my niece, as well as being a fabulous young performer, and mind you, the CEO of Chaotic Cosmetics. Of Chaotic Cosmetics. Please join us in welcoming. Kayana Cosmetics Chief Officer in charge, the lovely and young and skinny. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Ladies. Hello. Now, now, Ashley, you were messaging me saying that people couldn't can see us, but uh, people are people are are they're watching us. We have oh, we have okay. people watching and people are commenting. So okay. I don't know why. I, I don't know what the problem. Maybe there was. There might have been like a a lag. I don't know. I sh but um, you know, I shared I shared the st the stream to your your Facebook page too. So. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So Just hopefully everybody is. There's hopefully no everybody. Difficulties. No testicle difficulties here. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> actually, I, actually, I beg to differ. You beg to differ. <laughs> We're all tough, Toby. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody knows. Nobody has to know anything that's going on from the below the waist. <laughs> why I'm so glamorous from the waist up. I'm wearing house pants and a pair of socks. <laughs> me too. Me too, Auntie. Me too. No one needs to know. I got uh, ha hairy legs and bare feet. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> We're classy ladies here. Ladies, where the fuck do you see a lady? So classy. <laughs> so classy. Yeah, we're all, as we're all sitting here with our rubber tits hanging out. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> there, there is, there is more silicone on this feed. Right. <laughs> more silicone on this podcast. That all threw out Beverly Hills. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I mean, really. <laughs> we should put them all, all our silicone together. Yes, really. Everybody, President, President Buffalo gets to the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Make an earthquake. <laughs> Forget about it. With these, uh, with these big ass balloons, where we're all uh, we'll float away. I know, I know. You yeah, know, I think. I think the last time we, the three of us were together, I think was when Alexis and I hosted the uh, the old school, new school cabaret for that Long Island Gay Men's Chorus. That was the yes. one. That was like that was the last ago. time we were all together. The, the three of us were, were were physically together. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Oh, physically which was in person. Yeah, physically. That, that yes, was, we were that, all at that the was same, show. all in the same physical place. No. No, nope, nobody had any idea about masks back then. That would, <laughs> other than our makeup, no. Yeah, other, uh, other, other than like one of those, you know, face masks to like, you know, for your beauty uh, regimen. That was the only mask we knew of at that point. I know the the better times, the healthier times. That's what I really want to do because I like just like my things and whatnot. I have several friends who do sex makeup. 
I want to do a cast of my face and just have like like Mrs. Doubtfire, you know. The mm-hmm. <laughs> you should totally do that. You know, seriously, because you know, you think back. So, well, you're a little bit young, Ashley, but uh, Tony should be just old enough. You think back to the Jetsons. I know the Jetsons, and you know, and the time frame we're living in now was actually the time frame that the Jeffersons, uh, the Jeffersons, the Jetsons. The Jetsons. The Jeffersons. The time frame in which the Jetsons took place. So where's my robot housekeeper? Yeah. Okay, I'm not living miles above the ground on stilts. I don't have my own personal flying saucer. Mm -hmm. The fuck? (laughs) (laughs) I know. We 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 need to sue Hanna-Barbera. Childhood shut to shit. You know, we, but, but we we do have the you know the the whole world on, on our little phones though. They didn't you know the thing. I didn't know it then, but I certainly know it now. The thing from the Jetsons that I would probably commit among the most heinous of murders to to possess. Remember when uh the the mother what's her name Jane Jetson. Jane Jetson. Her girlfriend and she's with the rollers and all that. Her girlfriend goes. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta put my face on. <laughs> yes, right? What if only. have one of those. I know, we need that. We do. Either that or my being the horror diva, do it like Dr. Jekyll. Take a shot of something, <laughs> off and wheeze for a minute. <laughs> like, yeah, like the, 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 like the mist comes up. Exactly. And then, and then when it clears, you're like, you're, you're, you're like, you know. Tony gets it. I get it. I don't get it because Tony wants it too. <laughs> either either yeah. that, or, or or like, especially for something like this, you have like a, a filter where you know you just push the drag filter. <laughs> yeah, it has, it has your makeup and wig and everything on. There was a virtual. Filter. If there was such a filter, we'd know about it because Labelle would be using it. <laughs> <laughs> she is the queen of the filters. She really is. She is. <laughs> The filter. Yeah, she's she is. <laughs> she's my pictures for me. Put the. I'm like, I'm, 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 you know, I'm looking. How the hell does she do this? I know, right? <laughs> it's magic. I, mean, I have no. I mean, people be you know. I mean, considering I'm six minutes older than dirt, <laughs> and people are like, Alexis, what kind of filter are you using? Who the fuck knows how to use? Filter? <laughs> <laughs> Not that tech savvy. This is all <laughs> makeup and lighting. Right. I mean, because I, I, I don't just, I don't even, <laughs> have, I have Snapchat, don't know how that works. Oh, Snapchat. I have Instagram, really don't know how that works. Auntie Alexis is on My Snapchat. Twitter feed is all gay porn. <laughs> well, what else is it for? <laughs> what else is it for? What else is it for? <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> now, now you know why uh, mm. our, our, our recently deposed president spent so much time on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> But um, uh, no. But before we brought you on, Ashley, I was just saying how rich and lavish my eyeliner is. Oh yes, yes, the super stay. The the, the chaotic cosmetics I eyeliner. It. Yes, I have it on too. This thing does not move. Mm-hmm. It reminds me, Ashley. You I know, we had all day when a talk show showcased a product, the proprietor would send something to the host. <laughs> Okay, so I got you, I got you, ladies. <laughs> well, I, actually, I have. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring up a picture of uh, the the um, the palette, the new palette. Uh, Another new palette, girl. Really? Yes. Go on. Oh, eyeliner one. Is it the eyeliner one, Tony? Yes. This is the the chromatic hydro palette. Oh, open it up. I want to see. Oh. <laughs> so it's duochrome, but it's hard to see on camera. Oh, I do see it. See, now, that see. is actually gorgeous. Unfortunately for ladies like Tony and I, once you reach a certain age, frost and metallic. Oh, it's shit. However, Ashley Pigment. Oh, pigment. my God. Yes, mama. Here, look. Here are the, here's oh, a video of the swatches. I don't know. I yes. might have to make an exception. Yeah, <coughs> that is, that's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. It's the one. Oh, no, no, because, no, because any entertainer 
but especially drag performers. Pigment, pigment yeah. is everything. Especially, I mean, because the heavy foundation we wear can soak up your accents uh, cosmetics and the lights can drown them out. Oh my God, Ashley's, kudos to you, girlfriend. That is pigmented for the gods. Yes. I think it I really is. You froze for a set for a half a second. Just uh, for half a second. I'm back. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> but yes, pigment is important, Auntie Alexis. Pigment oh, it really actually is. is. It really is. And you know what? I'm actually so glad that you went on this. Uh, you went on this journey because it takes a drag queen to get it. Thank you. Yeah. It's... Because also all of those expensive makeup brands. Mm -hmm. And they're not that terribly pigmented. No, nope, I know, girl. I know. Not only are you giving us pigments for Mount Olympus, but at reasonable <laughs> prices. Exactly. Yep. Seriously. Exactly. Yep. And if you don't see that. You really don't see that nowadays. It's very. Uh, Alexis, your uh, your friend Pebbles Perry is saying hello and said we all hey, look girl. fabulous. Hi, Pebbles. Thank Hi, you, Pebbles. Pebbles. Thank you, Pebbles. It's a <clears throat> time, sweetie. Hit me up. <laughs> Pebbles. Yeah. You know, the thing is, a lot, even a lot of the, um, the makeup brands that, uh, before, like, the indie brands started, came to this prominence, a lot of the, like, the brands, like, at Sephora that were known for being, like, good, like, I'm thinking of Urban Decay, uh -huh. Or even Urban Decay now, it's like their their palettes are just like, you know. Claire's. They're getting like Claire's quality. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. Yeah, the quality is like not what it what it used to be. Like Urban Decay used to have, you know, their naked palettes used to be like the 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 be all and end all. And also, yeah. I think they 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 were like one of the only ones. I think they had their their wired palette, which yeah, was very right. colorful. Yeah, very colorful and bright. It was like the only one, really. Yeah. And but now, like they're they're like you know, um, their quality has like kind of you know gone down. And they still keep the same price. Exactly, it's oh, yeah. still the same price. Just love that. <clears throat> quality goes down as prices go up. <laughs> right. I guess so. Yes. It's real crazy. It's real it's crazy. Sad. Yeah. It's sad. And, and then oh, Janet said the Urban Decay pandemic, the only time you can see us full face is virtually. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Actually, um, Ashley uh, did uh, a, a little show with uh, Bella Noche. Yeah. And she's got another one coming up. They've been doing a very, um, very socially distanced. It is. Very, very safe. Um, very small. Very small, regulated um, sh live show. And a smoothie at, uh, shop. It's cute. At a, a, yeah, trop is that a tropical island smoothie? Uh, tropical mm -hmm. Cafe, I think. Tro I think. In, in, in Beth Page. Town, in, I, think? I think that's Beth Page, actually. Oh, yeah, Beth Page. Yes, yes, in, yes. In Beth, Beth Page. Page, yes. It's so it's a cute Nice. Place. And I like it, too, because I'm not really an alcoholic. So I, I like the smoothie. I am. <laughs> I knew that was coming. No shame in my game. No shame. No shame. No shame. Yeah. Yes, Long Long Island. Yes. Oh, hello, Ken Johnson. Ken Johnson is saying hello. Ken Johnson. He's a he is a he's he's a devotee of the Wig Wizard. Oh, as we all. Are. Yes. 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 We're all off to see the Wizard. Long Island Smoothie uh, Cafe. Long Island Smoothie Cafe. That's the, that's the place, and they have a Thank Facebook you, page. Thank and, you, Janet. Yes, and if you uh, you can you can always check out um, if they check out Ashley, if they check out your page, they'll see the uh, the flyer and the info on it. Yeah, I, sh I shared it. Yeah. So, but but you've been so busy with the makeup, you really <laughs> haven't had time, girl. This is the first time I've been in drag in probably like months. <laughs> Literally, probably months. I right. Who this bitch was. You know what I'd like to ask you, my dear? Yes, I'm listening. You're so disgustingly young and pretty. Me? <clears throat> don't you want? Uh, why don't? Why isn't Ashley J on uh, whatever ad brochure mm -hmm. or whatnot you have for chaotic? Yeah, I, I mean, before I mean, you're an adorable boy too. 
Thank but you. show the before and after, because also, I mean, not that you're not an adorable boy, but so if you're not in cosmetics, can uh, can turn a nice looking young man mm -hmm. into a beautiful young woman. Imagine what it can do for a real woman. Yeah, Think exactly. Yeah, I know. I do want to do posts like that, like a before and after transformation, or the flyers would be really cool because mm -hmm. it's my brand. So yeah. No, but I, I mean, <clears throat> the hell, I mean, <clears throat> with the resurgence with RuPaul, we're not even going to go there, but <laughs> <Don't get it. laughs> like, seriously, I mean, it's not like we're not accepted these days. I really I think you should. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and like I said, I mean, you're adorable, but you're obviously a boy when you're out of dress. Right? Yeah. I, I, and now look at you now. Yeah. Okay. Not... See, what I love about Ashley she's doing drag yet still giving an air of fish yeah but her makeup is drag she's not going for yeah. that demure dewy look because once the spotlight hits you what does it turn you into a boy wearing eyelids <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> it's, it's very true yeah. it's very true it's very true that's a compliment though thank you <laughs> oh, it, it was meant to be <clears throat> yeah Although I'm aware of my, uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> but but I, make observations, my skull. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, a lot of drag queens now have their own makeup brands. Uh, Trixie Mattel. I've seen it, yeah. Kim um, Chi. Um, yeah. I, um, Aquaria did a collab with, uh, I think, with NYX. Willem. Um, Willem has her face and beauty. Willem. Miss it, Miss Fame has made uh, so it's Ms. like Fame is really fancy makeup. Yeah. Even our friend yeah, Bella Noche had the Cryolon palette. Oh, cry yeah. Yeah, Bella Noche had the Cryolon palette. Yes, yes. Oh, Ken Johnson, uh, who and and Ken is Empress Eight of the from uh, the United Court of Austin. I, I oh, I thought, I thought she was an emperor. I'm so sorry, your man. Empress Empress Eight. All right, so I met. United up. Court of Boston. I'm having a senior moment. That's it's I'm all right. It's all right. Existence. But thank thank you. Ken said we all look great. Thank you, thank Ken. You. Ken, thank you so much. Yes. Oh, and Janet said. Oh, yes, Alyssa Edwards had. Uh, she had a collab with uh, ABH. Oh yeah, her pal. I have really that nice. pal. I have that. Wait, I have that. I has. I have that palette right here. Of course, right. you, girl. You've got yeah, the Sandwich palette right here. I thought we were supposed to be showcasing chaotic cosmetics. We are. We are. Yes. We uh, are. I, I, I used all of. I need. Uh, I used like. Uh, Look at this packaging. Oh, what? Oh, what, what is that? The uh, the liners? Yeah, these are like when I'm a boy and I'm rocking my boy. Uh, where's eyeliner? So oh yes, very, like very, very nice. Ones. Oh, those are pencil liners. I do my eyebrows with those. Yeah, like they're like a gel. I also use eyeliner for lip liner. Don't ask me why I line my lips in black, but with my coloring, it works. Okay, I did that too with the black liner. Keeps it in. It does. Here's, it really does. Here is my my very beat up pride oh, palette. You have you the OG one with the black. I have the OG with the black because I love I love the black. I meant to tell you I'm so mad at you for taking us. I use a lot of black eyeshadow. I'm so mad at you for taking the black out of that palette. Girl, that black traumatized me because the whole box came broken. The whole box, just uh, the black, just the uh, black. So I had to the whole situation. That's why. I was can't, like, can't you get? Can't you reformulate it? I. Uh, it's not that easy to work. <laughs> <laughs> like dealing with overseas, like talking, communicating. It's it's you know because there like is they, a trick they, to restore an eyeshadow pot. Yeah, so no, I need to rubbing out the alcohol. Black. Here's the here's the dreadful palette. The dreadful palette. Ooh. Yeah, there's a black I'll in there. One of those. Yes, yes, and uh, I actually used a uh, a lot of these purples. The purples tonight. are the best in there, and the reds. Yeah. The reds. Yeah, I love this. Um, the uh, what is this? Uh, Vampire Kiss. I love. I love this. I love that color. Oh, yeah, that's Vampire Kiss should be very dark, rich red. It is dark. It, it is. is. It I is. can't see it. Oh, okay. It, it's darker in person. Yeah. Yes. It's like oh, and, I and, and when it goes on the when it goes on the eye, it's it's now, very, it's matte very matte. matte. That's a matte. It's a matte. It's a matte. 
permafrost in there too. There's some and it, it, is, it is pigmented. Trust yeah. me. Oh yeah. Trust me when I say it I is. That one. You know, look, I wiped it off and it's still there. Yeah, pigmented. Now that now that's pigmented. That is pigmented. I remember back in the eighties. Mm -hmm. I, I look like I'm still living in the eighties. Come on, <laughs> I'm stuck in an eighties time warp, and I have been forever. But um, I remember there was like this purple lip gloss. It was like this pot gloss. You put it on with a brush, uh -huh. and. Yeah, that wasn't really conducive to having a regular nine to five job. When I would wash it off, I mean, put this, I put it on Friday night and Monday morning, my lips were still purple. Looked like I was purple. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. That's pigment, yeah? Oh, oh, that was pigmented for the nerves. <laughs> and these are, these are uh, the eyelashes that I have on tonight, the almost oh, innocent. I'm almost innocent. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Not totally there. Almost innocent. I'm on your death stairs. So. <laughs> yeah, I like the ones you're wearing. Now, what are the lowers called? The lowers? I think these are just... Um, Pieces, Adele. right? Yeah, scissors chopped. These are death stairs. <laughs> well, I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was putting on... I, I had this pair of lowers. I forgot what the hell I bought. Mm. But I had that. Thank you, Pebbles. Thanks, Pebbles. But thank you. I had this pair of I got, tonight as I was getting ready. Oh, you, we, you don't even want to know what I went through tonight. I told her. Yeah. Because <laughs> you <laughs> are a blabbermouth. Just like I go to invite dinner, I can always count on Tony Hall. But I'm, it's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> That's beside the point. Yeah, well, she's usually always inviting the, these young, hot guys. <laughs> and they always show up. <laughs> I just think I look this way at my age. Get it, Auntie Alexis. This, this hot, young 20-year-old goes into the apartment, and, and this, this hobbling, like, 70-year-old man <laughs> comes out. <laughs> But he's smiling. But he's smiling. <laughs> I thought you would take him to your dungeon, your torture uh, dungeon. Uh, 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 <laughs> they have to pay extra for that. Oh, that's extra. <laughs> that, they pay extra for that. <laughs> uh, uh, that's the VIP treatment. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the VIP you know, get in the way. Uh, 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 uh. You know, I just realized I'll never fall flat on my face. No, it's like your airbag, personal airbag. I can't drown. <laughs> Good, because I can't swim too well, so. You know, right? <laughs> but, um, no, but actually, like, I swear, I use a, I use several different cosmetics. I, like, I swear by Dermal for my foundation. I, with several different products, I create my own loose powder. Yeah. But I, since I bought the first one, I have been swearing by Kayata Cosmetics Eyeliner. Yeah. She loves the eye. So many, so many um, people love love that eyeliner. That's like a drag queen signature. Like every it, drag it queen is. That but I meant to ask you because I know a lot of girls. Like for example, my best friend Ambrosia Moore. She wears brown eyeliner, and a lot of women wear brown eyeliner. Yeah. Have you looked into replicating that formula in brown? I do. I want to actually do a few colors, like brown, maybe like purple. I would yeah. love to have that formula in a white eyeliner, too. Yes, that would be amazing. That would be stark. That would be everything that would actually stay on the lower lid. And then when you your yep. lower lashes, your eyes would just pop. It would pop. It would be bright white. Yeah, I need that. Oh yeah. Same form. It needs to be the same exact formula, though. Mm -hmm. It would have to be the same yeah. formula because I don't know what you have in this stuff. <laughs> it's cracked. It doesn't irritate. It's eyeliner. Cream. And it stays on until you take it off. It does. It really does. No, but not <laughs> only that, but after you've worn it for a while. Like just about any and every eyeliner you can get on the market from dollar store 
to uh, Sephora. From Dollar Store to Disgustingly Exclusive. Uh -huh. They all go on a rich, creamy black, but then they fade to like this kind of off like black. Like grayish, off black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Schmutz, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or the ones that you buy and they're wet for one day and then they're dried out the next day. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Actually, that happened to me once with the chaotic, but I'm not knocking the product. It was my fault. I was in a rush and I knocked the damn cap off. Oh, uh, well, that, yeah. Well, you can't. You know what? That's human error. I got the glasses. The new one's been good. The new one's been good. I microwaved the glass of scolding hot water. Dipped the chip a couple of times, put it back together, shook it up, bam, back to back in business. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I would have never thought of that. Girl, when you've been doing drag as long as I have. You need to know. <laughs> that's oh, yeah. what that's one thing I've always I've always said is that if if you know when it comes to drag, if you're having a problem with something and you're looking for a solution, the Alexis Flame is the person to ask. Because she she and and actually, this happened. This happened to you. You had a problem with your breastplate. Remember the uh -oh. the black, the black uh, um, top you wore stained it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and I and I, I asked I asked Alexis. I forget what it, I forget what your your solution was, Alexis. Didn't you but tell it did. Me baking soda. Hot yes. Warm water and baking soda. Yeah. Right. Most of it off. And also, but before you do that, a little bit of nail polish remover. Just, you know, just like, you know, as if you were trying to get something off your blouse. Oh, really? It, it's not going to take it all the way out because silicone can stain. Because I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find just the right product huh. to tint my breastplates with. Yeah. Because I have a very odd complexion. And I just can't seem to find one too terribly close to my skin tone. Mm -hmm. But I would like to be able to just put the damn thing on and not have to paint it and wash it and paint it and wash it. Do you think a, a mortician a cosmetologist would have your right shade? Uh, I did mortuary <laughs> makeup. Can't use that stuff. <laughs> no, you can't because the makeup you use on the deceased, you cannot use on the living. No, you can't. And if you try to probably. use regular makeup um, um, on a departed loved one because at that point the skin is already drying mm. and it'll, it'll basically it's gonna look like crap stage makeup yeah yeah and we know enough ladies who wear that <laughs> <laughs> well we, we, we don't mention we don't mention, we don't mention any names but i'm not one to gossip so you didn't hear that from me <laughs> No, well, but seriously, I mean, but uh, the breastplate, though, either that or the next time you're, you're out and about, you can get a ride out to Queens. Just bring it. Auntie will fix it. No, it, it went away. It faded by itself. Oh, it, it did? Was, it just faded over weeks. I left it out. I did the baking soda. I scrubbed it. And, good like, girl. and also, just so you know, should that happen to you again, Yeah. keep in mind, if the product is cheap enough to bleed, it's also cheap enough that they didn't use that good quality of dye, so it's yeah. not going to last. I should have washed it twice before I wore it or something. Yeah, or something. Uh, yeah. I, you know what it is? You can wash it a hundred times, even if it's faded to hell. Yeah. Dye will still come out of it. Huh. And it was leather, Auntie. It was black leather. Hmm. Real leather? No, no. Definitely oh. From, it was from Amazon. Oh, <laughs> was it no, pleather or? <laughs> no, it, it, I it, guess was it was pleather. vegan leather. Vegan leather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was bucks, but it fucked uh, up my. It was probably plastic. <laughs> probably, you know, one of the fun things about having done uh, egg in the seventies mm -hmm. and eighties. Despite all the beautiful sequins and beaded gowns like from Bob mm -hmm. and whatnot from my Lacage days, when I was a skinny bitch like this one here, <laughs> I got to wear the whole entire fabulous disco line from Fredericks of Hollywood. Oh, jeez. Now, if I had one of these jammies when I was rocking, oh, forget about it.
<laughs> I'd still yeah. be in jail for prostitution. <laughs> well, well, back then you would have what you would have uh, like a B cup probably would have looked like you know Dolly Parton on you. Uh, back then, a C cup looked bigger on me than this rap cup. Right, right. <laughs> because you have to understand, in my heyday, the largest I ever was was a size four or five. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, you know, I mean, I, I, I used to be tiny. Now, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> I mean, it all happened when I moved to Queens. In 10 years, I went from Diana Ross to Lainey Kazan. Oh, <laughs> Blame Queens. Uh, I went from Diana Ross to Precious. <laughs> Precious. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, I'm gonna be, uh, Precious! Okay. Precious, I'm hungry. Precious, Tony, this is why nobody likes you. <laughs> my husband likes me, and he does my wig. So That's who cares? Free. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Tony? You better be on the lookout for mm -hmm. my younger, thinner sister. Your young, my younger, thinner sister. <laughs> yeah, that bitch, that bitch had the gall to tell me that she's sleeping with my wig style. I'm like, <laughs> Wow. You better not let Tony Home Pro know that she's uh, too. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Hi Stacy. <laughs> Hi. So what 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 new and exciting products can we expect to see in the near future from Chaotic Cosmetics? Are, are you gonna are you gonna give a little sneak peek, Ashley? You gave me a sneak peek, but I don't know if you're willing to uh yeah, I'll give a sneak peek. It's something that um, it's a classic in like every makeup brand, but I haven't launched it in forever because I'm picky with pigments, as you both know. Um, as are we. Yes. That's why we love your products. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a summer blush palette. This isn't it, but this is beautiful. Pictures. Oh, that's very pretty. But they're, isn't it? they're very pigmented. Yes. So there's actually, I that. might be able to use those for my because some of my contour, those are very pretty colors. Yeah, and those These are, are high. Oh, that's fine. Yes, this beautiful. Like fire, it's gonna but be like Ashley, fire. But Ashley, Auntie wants that palette with the vampire kiss in it. I mean, just that one, <laughs> that one pan alone. Okay, I think I have an extra, I'll save one for you. Please, I think, I, think I do. I have to check my inventory. Please. And <clears throat> by the way, um, Ashley, uh, Lawrence Hunter. Said you look so fabulous, and he wants to know how long you've been doing drag, Stop and what got that. and what got you into it. Before she answers that question, Lawrence, be prepared to fall on your patootie. <laughs> oh God! Why? Wait, wait. What's the question? How long it hasn't been? been that long. No. no. I, well, I'm 27 now. I started actually. I officially started drag maybe like four years ago, but I've been doing it since I was like 13 secretly in my house, like behind the doors. We all start that way. Yeah, yeah. taking mama's lipstick. And, and then you evolve into this. This. <laughs> this. Yeah. Bam. Pro professionally, though, <clears throat> uh, Ashley, you and I, we really both started at about the same time. So that was what, Tony, three years ago? The Halloween party? It's like four, it's like four years now for wow. both of us. Wow. No, yeah. and you would never guess that you ladies are in season <clears throat> of Gaia. I mean, I've been doing drag since speech replaced sign language. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought I saw like this this hieroglyphic with, with you, like, you know, Coming, coming out, and and you know, doing doing oh, a performance. I I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, you know how I know so much. <laughs> yes, uh, no, I've seen uh, that. <laughs> James, I need your car keys. Uh oh. Can I come? Uh, so nice. <laughs> You're just nice. Oh. 
I'm going to kill you. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yes. <clears throat> I have a bit of a gift. Not that she deserves it anymore. <laughs> oh, speaking of gifts, Tony, what do you think of my necklace? Oh, it's beautiful. It is. I want it's, one. It is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can put one together for uh, you and Frank. Thank you. It's gorgeous. Because, yeah, it takes a uh, <clears throat> to go into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a lot of you know, I worked for a company I just recently called Raining Rhinestones. And the woman that owns the company used to make uh, like uh, like some of the court jewel, an imperial court jewel, she used to make originals. And uh, she taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. And then for some reason, the, when the insomnia came over me just the other night, because I mean, I've had, I've had the implements around for a while and I've just been putting it off and putting it off. And then one night I couldn't sleep and I'm looking and I'm like, ooh, shiny. Shiny. I like shiny. Mm -hmm. I can't sleep, but I like shiny. We'll turn shiny into pretty. I swear, the best ideas come at night after midnight. The best ideas will come to you when you wish the entire world would kiss your ass and keep it moving. Yeah. Very but, true. No, but I'm, <clears throat> and I'm and I'm just tinkering around <coughs> with you know various things. And then I started putting it together, and because uh, the earrings I've had for a while, Tony even has a pair of these earrings, mm -hmm. and I'm like, but they're only earrings. Oh, and this weekend I will be working on a bracelet too. Ooh. Nice. Well, you know, seriously, I mean, I I started I, years ago. I was an an antique dealer. I've been restoring antiques. Well, now they're shiny. I, 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 I learned how to fix clocks, which actually, ironically, even though it has nothing to do with anything else, I posted on Facebook that I was, that I've just become a horologist. Now, based on the word, you already know, yeah, just like Tony over here, mine's in the gutter. A horologist is somebody who repairs and maintains clocks. Shut up, Tony. <laughs> she talks so loudly. I heard that all the way out here in Queens. <laughs> She's a bitch. <laughs> yeah. But, um, no, but it's just, I mean, in this pandemic, I mean, the, 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 the struggle to save over, like my nails. I learned how to do poly gel nails. Oh, You've wow. all heard of the French manicure. I have a Transylvanian manicure. Ooh. Can you give me one? I need one of those. Come on mm -hmm. over. I'll give you a set of nails. Yay. But no, I like I actually I actually did my did nail <laughs> I painted my nails tonight. <laughs> With what a puzzle? <clears throat> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean basically, ladies, mm -hmm. it's just doing my damnedest to stave off boredom. Yeah, I don't blame you. I know. I mean, That's... there's no work to go to. I'm working from home. Yeah, me I too. mean, it's not that I'm not working. I'm working, but I'm working from home. I, I, I on my on my nightstand, on my desk, in front of my recliner. <laughs> before I get, I've got. I, I'm surprised, and I have laptops everywhere. I'm surprised I haven't set one up in the damn bathroom. <laughs> maybe next. Uh, maybe it's just. Because I've always been creative, and it's just something to stave off boredom. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, before Tony and I finish out with our little banter, Ashley, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for and, having me. Oh, honey, you'll be back in the future, too. Tony usually asks, but I'm going to go ahead and jump the gun. Ashley, we would like you to tell our viewers, not only throughout social media, how they can locate Ashley Jade, but also how they can locate Kayana Cosmetics. Yes. Okay. Well, so spill the tea. <laughs> what? 
Ashley Jade's World on Instagram, on TikTok, uh, on Facebook. It's just AJ Belfiore. And then my brand is Beautiful Chaotic. Beautiful I like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Chaotic Cosmetics on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for you, Auntie Alexis, on TikTok. <laughs> I think it's Alexis Flame, too. Oh, yeah? On uh, Twitter. On Twitter. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, same with Oh, Facebook. is that what I am on Instagram? Oh, I don't even remember. <laughs> And, and actually, you also have uh, Chaotic Cosmetics also has its own website, correct? Yes. Oh, yes, chaoticcosmetics.com. That's it. Exactly. Where they can, uh, and they can, um, is the, the the new Manic palette, is that on pre-order now, or? Um, it's it pre-order sold out in a day. Pre-order sold out. Wow. See? <laughs> I know. So You're going to be the next um, best in order. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, I hope so. I hope I'm on TBC one day. And remember who your favorite auntie is. Yes. I remember. I remember. When that day comes, you're going to get a, a big a tower of those eyeliners. Just to, like a bouquet. Well, an Eiffel Tower made of eyeliner. That would be so fun, imagine. It actually would. That would. That would be so what, when... When when uh, the pre-order of the palette is sold out, when um, when will it? Um, so what happens now? It's launching Saturday this weekend. At one this o'clock. weekend, one o'clock, the thirteenth mm-hmm. on chaoticcosmetics.com. The yes. the the world's very first uh, duochrome hydro liner palette. The very- never been. The very first in the entire world. Never yeah. been done before. So yeah. I wish I had money to patent it, but I don't get that type of money. But just remember who launched it first. I'm I'm sure I'm sure the big brands will be ripping you off very very soon. Girl, it's coming, I know. Uh, providing least. providing they can find the formula. That's Ashley, true. Ashley, remember this. Keep your formulas like your drag persona. So Close. unique. That they'll have to really bust parts to replicate mm-hmm. it. Exactly. That's what I try they'll to do. The bust parts to imitate it, let alone replicate it. Yep, that's true. That's what I do. <gasps> oh, I know her. Hi, Aileen. Eileen Ashley, red hot and flashy, says yes. saying hello. So what else could she be? <laughs> and she she loves chaotic cosmetics. Yes. As we all do. She's the yeah, thank you, Eileen. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll talk to you soon. I love you both. Bye. We love you too. Bye bye, sweetheart. Bye bye. You skinny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh, wait. I think I mentioned something for my co hostess. Oh, something for me? Yes. <laughs> oh, whatever could it be? Oh, that little <clears throat> She did it again. Oh, she, she escaped. Where is she? Is she is she I hope she's not running around like the like um the little doll from the trilogy of terror with Karen Black. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> with the knife. Okay, hold on just to make sure so I hope it picks up. Let me turn off the fan. Turn off the fan for a sec. Is it can you close that door? Because I can hear the TV. <clears throat> Let me get my cough oh, out. I be hear something in the background. Is there background noise at your house? It could be. <laughs> I thought I had to say that. I'm sure you did. <laughs> I can stand it if you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Talking T Doc. Oh. You can find Talking T Doc on my eBay page. Uh, basically, just type in Talking Tina on eBay. I'll probably be the only seller that comes up with this particular doll. And uh, it's funny because speaking of. Uh, uh, speaking of uh, naughty or nice alumni, well, you know, we'll touch on that another day. But no, she's 22 inches tall. And she, as you can see, it looks like she was plucked right out of the episode. She's, uh, she's, black. Black, and, she's black and white. Yes, from the Twilight Zone episode. Because yeah. uh, uh, <clears throat> Janet commented, wasn't she on Twilight Zone? Yes, she, she was. She was on. Uh, I don't, what was the name of that episode? Do you remember? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember the exact name of the episode. I always just called it the Talking Tina episode. I that's, think that was the name. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that might have been the name. Of and the name. it was, uh, who Who was it? Um, Telly Savalas. Telly Savalas, the, the father, yeah. The that's stepfather. Was wasn't he the stepfather and he, he was mean? It was Eric Strader. Yes. He went straight he, to hell. Yes, he was... He was he was mean to the stepdaughter and uh, and he was mean to Talky Tina. And the best was at the end when she turns to the mother and says, "My name is Talky, Talky Tina, Tina, and you better be nice." Nice to me, <laughs> Alexis. <Ray> <clears throat> oh, no, <laughs> but no. She's amazing. She really is beautiful. And she retails for us somewhere in the three hundred dollar range, but she says everything that the doll in the uh, epic. I mean, this is it can't get any more realistic than this. She's Living doll. Amazing. Living doll was the name of the episode. Thank you, Janet. You're right. Thank you, Janet. Living doll. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I also have several versions of Chucky. I have, um, I also have Tiffany, the bride of Chucky. Mm -hmm. And their offspring, Glenn. <laughs> Glenn's really creepy looking. I like Glenn. I also carry, because uh, uh, these dolls, all the dolls that you'll find on my eBay page related to horror movies, mm -hmm. Chucky, Tiffany, Glenn, Poppy, Tina, and what's the other one I have? Oh, yes. Annabelle. Annabelle. <laughs> How lovely. They're all one-to-one -one scale. Mm -hmm. Okay, the vendor, that, the vendor <clears throat> that I get my stock from has obtained all the licensing. Uh, these dolls are made from the same materials and from the same molds as the dolls you see you see in the movies. So look for look for them on eBay, and it's Alexis Flame. Alexis Flame on eBay, Alexis Flame store. Well, All kinds of goodies. Store yet I haven't been oh. so long enough, but I'm working. Oh, okay. But you, eventually, eventually. Oh, very soon. Very soon. Soon. And Coming soon. And for all of those, and for those of you who made the lovely con uh, compliments on my jewelry, thank you so much. But at this time, I don't know if I'm making pieces for sale. Because to be brutally honest, I've only started, and I'd like to improve my technique before I start uh, quoting prices and whatnot. Uh, because I would never pass on anything inferior, except one of my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> they don't count. <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, and C CJ was saying hello. Hello, CJ. Thanks for tuning in. Speaking of ex-boyfriends, Speaking. why is it? Yes. That when you break up with someone, the next <clears throat> person... It's like, mm. I'm like, girl, I was there first, and I'm not there now. Do the math. <laughs> yeah, I just threw out a sandwich. You want that too? Uh, anyway. Uh, now, now, Alexis, we both I just want to let everybody know we both recently did a uh, did videos 
uh, for an upcoming Imperial Court event. Yes, we can. The, the ballads from the boudoir. From the boudoir. Yes, and that's going to be taking place uh, Saturday, April third. I'm I'm not sure if it's at seven or eight p.m. Though I'm not. Oh, I, 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 I <clears throat> sorry, I actually don't. Really <clears throat> but we'll have all that information on our, our own pages too. Yes, once, well, uh, once we know. But it's definitely it's it is Saturday, April third, um, the the evening evening of, and that is for the Imperial Court of New York. And you did I uh, helped you with a video. Yes, you and, did. Uh, and uh, I did, I did, uh, I did a video, and uh, I, I got to tell, you, I can't wait for everyone to see it. It came out so good. I was just, I'm just so happy with this video that I did. It was like I just can't wait for everyone to see it. Well, Tony, I'm not only your auntie and, <laughs> and your friend. I'm actually one of your biggest fans. Oh, and thank you. The show, I mentioned she's like the queen of parody. Well, this isn't a. This wasn't a parody. This one wasn't a power. She has a great voice, <laughs> except for when she's warning young men that my dinner invitation is a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bitch. And a blob mouth. <laughs> True. Such a <laughs> and modest Long Island. <laughs> Just, 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 um, just a modest, a modest Long Island housewife. Yeah, that's your story, and you're sticking to it, huh, Tuts? I am. <laughs> and uh, uh, find that bullshit, Tony. <laughs> <sighs> and our guest, uh, we will be back with you on March twenty fifth, I believe. Yes, March twenty fifth, and we have a uh, a friend of yours, William Murray, who is a filmmaker. A friend, not one of my children. A friend, not 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 a, not a child. I, do you remember I told you I was testing for this uh, upcoming vampire feature? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, William Murray is producing that feature. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yes, uh, William Murray is a Brooklyn-based film producer. Mm -hmm. and we will find. Everything else out two weeks from tonight. And that will be our uh, our green theme St. Patrick's Day oh show. Oh my goodness! As a matter of fact, you're right. It will That'll be. That will be green themed. Do I have anything green? I think uh, I have you green. must. I'm sure you do. You've got it. You've yeah. got it. Actually, I have a beautiful. Actually, I've already worn it on the show. I have this beautiful emerald green jumpsuit. There you go. There you go. I guess I'll have to wear it again. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm Italian. I'll probably wear red. <laughs> so anyway, once again, everybody, we'd like to thank you for joining us and allowing us into your homes. <laughs> Tony, put that silver back. <laughs> but um, again, I am the naughty Alexis Flame and the Nice, Tony Homeperm. <laughs> and thank you for yet uh, helping us have yet another fun episode of yes. the or nice, so, so nice, nice. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> thank you so much. We'll be back on the twenty fifth, everybody. See you on the twenty fifth. Stay safe, everyone, and, and good night. Bye. Bye-bye.